I was in Michael's and I saw these photo storage boxes. They were four for $10. I just love the paper on these so much that I thought there just has to be a way we can use these for the dolls. I know this is throwing my whole craft schedule off for the week. Just sometimes when you get an idea, you have to act on it. I purchased four boxes. I haven't quite figured it all out yet. I'm thinking we can just make it up as we go. Each box is four inches by six inches and 11 and a quarter inches. So that is just long enough to be a bed for a doll. And we've done that before in like one of our very first videos. Let's take the plastic wrapping off. Inside, it is lined with black paper. We can cover that with scrapbook paper to brighten it up. That will make a big difference. We could probably even add some lights. And I will decide on the paper when I know exactly what I'm using this space for. The box is covered all the way around, so let's try to arrange the boxes in some kind of room. First, I remove the lid, turn the box over to make a platform. Take the lid and set it behind the box. This looks like a very large, tall bed. I take another box and set it right next to it and take the lid and place it on the ground. So I just did the reverse of what I did here. Architecturally, this is looking pretty cool. It's like we have a bed or a loft platform, then a floor here and some walls. Take another box, remove the lid. I place the lid on this side and the box right here. This is looking pretty cool. Let's put a doll in the space so you can get an idea about the size. I think this could be a small apartment, maybe like a loft or a studio. We could glue the boxes together or we can leave them separate so they can be used as storage when playtime is over. I have one box left and I'm going to place it right here. That makes a very interesting little space. However, I don't know what to do with the top yet, so I'm just gonna place that to the side. Now let's start decorating. I am going to start with the inside of this box here. Cut a paperboard box to fit inside, remove it, cover the inside of the box with scrapbook paper. I used white on the ceiling, a white texture on the back, bricks on the floor for the area that will be visible, cover the box with paper, I put black paper on one side, cut rectangles of cardboard, cover with paper, glue them onto the box, add a faux cabinet door, drawers, and a door for a mini fridge, cut and cover another piece of cardboard to go on top, glue it into the box, add the cardboard on top, add a cardboard shelf or two for open storage. Glue artificial plants into beads. Glue them to the shelves. I found these charms at Michael's for 50% off. I use them as dishes for a small kitchenette. I want some kind of sink, but I'm all out of wire, so I'm going to use this small appetizer bowl. It's made of plastic and a aluminum wedding band. Unfold one side of the wedding band glue it to the back of the plastic bowl, add beads on the sides to make a sink. Let's take this box on the side, cover the inside with a light paper to brighten it. I used a white brick on the walls and marble on the floor. I take a decorative cake pillar, glue another plastic appetizer bowl on top, make the same faucet just as before to make a bathroom sink. Glue foil scrapbook paper onto the wall. For a mirror, add a Barbie toilet. Put a bead on the end of one of the wedding rings. Glue the bead to the wall. Cut a piece of a gym sock. Run it through the ring to look like a towel on the towel holder. And there we go. Now the bathroom is all set. I didn't glue the toilet into place so that we could switch it out with a Barbie bathtub when needed. Now that the bathroom is complete, let's take this box, cover the inside. I went with a light wood on the walls. 
and a cement floor. Add our clothing rack from our YouTube Live video for an instant closet. And the closet is going to go back right there. For the walls over here on the side, I want to keep these open just in case I want the option of using the lid again. So I'm just going to cover the inside with scrapbook paper to look like distressed walls. And maybe we can add some artwork there later. Add a table or a desk and a chair so the doll has somewhere to eat and work. On the platform to the side, add bedding so the doll has a place to sleep. And on the back of this wall, we can glue a cutout of a TV. This is one of our My Froggy Stuff postcards. I am gluing it to the back of the kitchen so the doll has a flat screen TV to watch while sitting in bed. And now our doll has an apartment with a kitchen area, office slash dining area, bedroom, bathroom, and closet. And when playtime is over, we can store the items inside and place the lid on the box until next time. This is a versatile space where you can rearrange the rooms. You can expand by adding more boxes. You can decorate and add pictures to the walls. And we'll do that later. Right now, this is a great way just to get started. And if you can't find these photo storage boxes, then you can always use a shoe box and just cover it with paper. And you're done. Happy crafting! Want to give a shout out to Teresa Malibu Loves. What is up? Welcome to World Tiniest Living Spaces. I am your host, Naveen. Yeah, so welcome to my home. Ah, so it is you again. Yeah, I moved into a bigger place. Well, actually, I don't know if it's bigger, but it has more rooms, like a kitchen, a bathroom. I'm really happy to have one of those. And there's a closet on the other side of the wall. Total upgrade, right? Yes, but where is your stove? Hello, I ordered takeout. <laughs> like I would use a stove.